Hello, Meet Man United Update, YouTube channel for followers of Red Devils Manchester United. First of all, to be a force for our team. Please press like, press share and most importantly, press subscribe. So that you will not miss news, updates, news of our club. For this clip we will talk about news issues. The interest of the Manchester United club that in the past days from the media that there is any current let's go follow this clip. Let's look at the news first. Man United confirm Wartweg Horst shirt number ahead of likely debut versus Crystal Palace. Manchester United have confirmed that new signing Wartweg Horst will wear the number 27 shirt ahead of his potential debut against Crystal Palace on Wednesday. The Netherlands international recently joined from Burnley on loan for the rest of the season and he was involved in his first training session on Sunday afternoon. United have now confirmed that the Dutchman has been allocated the number 27 shirt, previously worn by the likes of Gary Neville, Mikhail Silvestre, and Marouane Fellaini. Weghorst was not registered in time to make the squad for the Manchester derby, but could be involved at Selhurst Park where Eric Ten Hag could rotate his players. United's stunning comeback win over City at Old Trafford has strengthened their top four grip. They are now five points ahead of fifth place Tottenham Hotspur with a game in hand. The club now have the opportunity to extend the advantage by beating Palace on the road on Wednesday. Spurs have a tough encounter at Manchester City 24 hours later. Weghorst could be handed his United debut off the bench against Patrick Vieira's side before making his first start against runaway leaders Arsenal at the Emirates Stadium this weekend. His high pressing could be very useful versus the Gunners, who are still prone to making the odd defensive mistake when opponents tend to close them down in the final third. Weghorst, who is United's second signing of the January transfer window after Jack Butland, should provide a different dimension to the attack with his physical and aerial presence. Go to next news. Gary Neville predicts Man United will finish ahead of Arsenal in the Premier League this season. Manchester United legend turned pundit Gary Neville has said that the Red Devils will finish ahead of Arsenal in the Premier League this season. The Gunners have had a tremendous run at the top of the league this term and recently went 8 points clear of Manchester City with a convincing 2-0 win at Tottenham Hotspur. Despite this, Neville continues to emphasize that City will win the top flight title and believes United can also catch up and leapfrog Mikel Arteta's side by the end of the season. He said on his podcast on Sky Sports, no. But I said Leicester wouldn't win the league. They, Arsenal, won't win the league. Manchester City will win the league, and I think Man United will finish second, and I know that will annoy Arsenal fans. United have made tremendous progress under manager Eric Ten Hag this campaign. Their form has been quite exceptional after the two losses at the start of the season. They are currently nine points adrift of the Gunners for the first position, but have the opportunity to reduce the margin significantly in the next couple of games. United travel to Crystal Palace on Wednesday night before facing the Gunners at the Emirates Stadium four days later. If they can win against both, they could go three points behind the league leaders, having played a game more than them. In our view, United can still catch the Gunners in the table. The North Londoners still have to face Manchester City twice. The club are currently outsiders for the title, but could become genuine contenders if they can keep the winning streak going. United recently won their fifth successive Premier League game after a stunning 2-1 comeback win over City at Old Trafford. Go to next news. Lysandro Olmeta being watched. Manchester United are in the mix to sign promising Monaco goalkeeper Lysandro Olmeta, report Foot Mercato. The same outlet which broke news of Wardweg Horst's move to Manchester United, claim the Red Devils are among a group of clubs monitoring the 17-year-old stopper. Olmeta, is a France under-18 international who already stands at 6 feet 2 inches. His contractual situation is an interesting one. 
He is out of contract at the end of this season and will be free to sign with clubs in Europe from July 1st. Monaco have offered him a new deal, but Foot Mercato report he is hesitant to accept it. Manchester United, and other English clubs, can sign Olmeta from July 20, when he turns 18. Brexit rules mean players outside the UK cannot be signed until they reach this age. This isn't a lot longer to wait if both player and club feel this is the best move for his development. Olmet who is the son of Pascal Olmeta, a former Marseille and Lyon goalkeeper, who is close pals with Eric Cantona. Pascal Olmeta played at Old Trafford in both the Munich Testimonial in 1998 and Sir Alex Ferguson's Testimonial in 1999. He even kept goal for Manchester United for a charity game for sport relief in 2010. Here is a fantastic clip of him wowing the crowd in the 98 testimonial, running the full length of the pitch. Lysandro Almeta has been to Old Trafford far more recently, with the Monaco under-21 side which played against Manchester United in November. Almeta was an unused substitute in that game, but it will have given him a taste of Old Trafford, where he could follow in his dad's footsteps, in more serious competition. Chelsea, West Ham, Manchester City and Leeds are all also reported to be monitoring his situation, and while no developments are expected at United's end this month, this is one to keep an eye on for the summer. Go to next news. Eric Ten Hag could finally turn Aaron Wan-Bissaka into a £50 million player. Manchester United's decision to spend £50 million on Aaron Wan-Bissaka in 2019 was reflective of the transfer market at the time. Rival City had made this kind of expenditure on full-backs look routine. There was an acceptance at the time that United were paying for potential, with Wan-Bissaka's strong defensive skills offset by weak attacking attributes. Ole Gunnar Solskjaer's coaching staff hoped to develop Wan-Bissaka from a rough diamond into a £50 million player. But it didn't really work. Wan-Bissaka's attacking game showed minor improvement before regressing, while cracks started to show in the defensive side of his game. Eric Ten Hag may be about to fix all that. When Eric Ten Hag was appointed as Manchester United manager earlier this year I spoke with an Ajax supporter about which players the manager could work his magic with to improve. The one he picked out was Aaron Wan-Bissaka, which, a few months in, was looking like bad call. Right now, it seems as though he was onto something all along. Wan-Bissaka has overcome the injury problems which dogged the first part of his season, and his Manchester derby display was the culmination of a month of hard work. The right-back has conceded just one goal in 471 minutes of football this season, Jack Grealish's header at the weekend, fitting seamlessly into the Red Devils' vastly improved defence. What was most striking at the weekend was his confidence on the ball. One sequence of play in the second half saw him masterfully switch feet to retain possession and lay the ball off to a teammate. Juan Bissaka provided an assist on his return to action against Burnley last month and he has re-established himself as a credible first-team option. It is clear to see already that Eric Ten Hag's coaching staff has begun to work wonders with the 25-year-old defender. The Mail report that United have shelved any plans to sell or loan Juan Bissaka and intend to keep him this month. It's a wise decision, as the defender is just at the beginning of his journey of improvement under Ten Hag. The former Crystal Palace man could finally turn into the £50 million defender Manchester United planned for him to become. This is a summary of the latest Manchester United news from the media. What do your friends think about the past news? feel free to comment. Finally, if friends if you like it, please press like, press share and press follow, together to encourage the team to search for information to present to the Red Devils fans. Together in the next clip for today, goodbye.